this cake up by the big bake. Bait, bait, by the big I got a new song. Hey YouTube, what's good y'all? I am going to be showing y'all how to get your makeup flawless. So we gonna be prepping the skin. This video is basically how to prep the skin for makeup application, a full face makeup application. I'm just observing my skin. I'm gonna be starting with the Meissler cleansing water. This is makeup removal. So, you know, you want to remove any debris oil or anything like that from your skin before you apply any type of makeup so i typically use this first this is the sensitive type so it is for all skins skin types this is sensitive you know you can use it it's oil and alcohol free um so i am cleansing my face with this first Technically, I'm just wiping my face off. We all know this ain't no real face cleanser, but oh, it's perfect for removing makeup too. So that's why I use it before and after makeup. Um, now I'm gonna go into washing my face. I'm using Neutrogena Hydro Boost, um, which is a cleansing gel, boost hydration for soft, supple skin, okay? Um, I am not sponsored by none of these products, y'all, so don't come for me, YouTube. Anyways, um, I like using this because I um, typically have normal, no, what is it, combination to dry skin. Y'all, I'm an esthetician. I still don't be knowing the lingo, but anyways, I have combination to dry skin. So yeah, I'm rubbing that in, rubbing it, rubbing it, rubbing it. So basically, I am scrubbing my skin with my fingertips. Now, that is an important thing too. Before you use... Um, before you do any type of makeup application, you want to feel your skin, you know, so don't use a brush when you're washing your face before makeup because you won't know if you have any dry spots or anything like that. So I'm scrubbing my face with this cleanser with my fingertips. Um, please don't come for me for the suds because it's a gel so you don't see a lot when you use gel. We're going to pat this dry. Face towel, a clean face towel, you know, those decorated towels in your mama bathroom, go grab one of them. Pat face pat your face dry okay <laughs> but yeah this is a clean face towel we're gonna pat the face dry um completely dry before we go into the next product the next product i will be using i'm still patting actually patting my face dry y'all my phone is acting up so i had to do a voiceover <laughs> but um so the next product i'm going into is going to be elf y'all this is slept on this hydration serum is slept on i over-the-counter products have been being slept on i don't know why but yeah i've been using alpha since like 88 type stuff but um this hydration serum is actually i'm not sure when it came out but it seemed a little new but um i was really trying to show y'all what it was about it is purified water aloe and green tea it feels like freaking satin on your skin or a silk satin it feels amazing on the skin and absorbs awesomely okay and you can typically just use this you don't have to you know you use this whenever it's awesome for dry skin if you have dry skin and this is the amount that i use it's one pump um actually it's like a half a pump and i take that and i diligently rub that all through my face my decollete my skin if i could use it as lotion i probably would i should try it huh but this is really good on the skin it feels so so freaking good it's like, mm, be like, rub your cheek up against somebody, you know? So I'm going to rub that in thoroughly, like thoroughly, okay? Because we need this. It's hydration. I have been exposed to the sun a lot. Um, I bike ride every day. So my skin has a sun kiss to it, as y'all can see. It looks like it got like different color pigmentation going on my melanin is popping though but it's okay because i've been under sun so you know it's all right um doing a little bit of tapotement getting that getting them blood cells rolling you know pat the face get that youthfulness getting that collagen busting now i'm going into my moisturizer um which is cocoa butter by palmer's this is the oil it is soybean sesame and some is safflower it 
definitely relieves dry skin um, and it absorbs and the thing about it the trick to it is you really want to use a little bit of it rub it in when I say rub it in it's like honestly this is like a dry oil so like even if you use it on your skin it dries it leaves a nice little sheen but not too oily so I like to use this I use it all over my body as well including my face um, so I like to use this also along with my makeup applications for moisture so I rub this in for a hot minute okay I practically be giving my little face a massage when I'm rubbing this in yes across my decollete across my shoulders I'll be rubbing it in baby be rubbing me down with it too so we like it <laughs> um but yeah rub it in very good um I typically rub it in and then I wait I'm thinking like um I like to wait after I rub it in but I'll rub it in for a long time as y'all see I'm still rubbing so we want to give it about five to ten minutes after you rubbed it in before you move into your next product because you want it to really dry so after I have done that and rubbed it in enough and it has dried up how it's supposed to y'all see it's just sheen and dewy it's not sitting on top of my skin my skin looks nice and oil um, free but just nice and clean and dewy you know what I mean yes that's the melanin I mean the melanin Y'all are messing up. But I had some melia going on. That was the little white bumps that show up on your skin when you sweat too much or you having some type of Asian issue. That's what I had. And that's only because I'd be sweating and I was exposed to uh, the sun. But I scrubbed those with my fingertips as you saw in the beginning, okay? Final product before foundation, which is very important. You wanna lock in all the moisture and protect the moisture that you just put on your face. So I'm using the NYX Studio Perfect photo loving primer okay um it's soft and fine lines and pores and then it is really good for like minimizing the pores too prior to applying i don't use a lot that's the amount that i use i just rub that in very very good on across my face now this i take my time rubbing in as well because i want to make sure that I've hit all spots that makeup will be applied to now not necessarily all up under my neck or nothing like that but my face I rub it in very thoroughly and as I'm rubbing this in I'm also going over my skin making sure that it feels smooth for a flawless makeup application I don't have any texture bumps any dry patches um, any issues with my skin my skin is actually feeling very good y'all see me you see me you see my skin looking good don't it look good don't it hey but yeah this honestly is the what I do every morning um, prior to leaving the home if I don't wear makeup I this is my face regimen for the morning I actually do a little bit more but we'll go into depth in another video for that but y'all look at me look at me <laughs> looking good yeah but um wanted to show y'all this this is important ladies take care of your skin before you put on foundation know your skin type you honestly can use this regimen if you have oil to dry skin um i would suggest you use more of a dry based uh, moisturizers but thank y'all for watching bye